Bit depth and dynamic range are our last topic, and I have endeavored to make it as simple as possible for us. In the previous video, we looked at sample rate in relationship to these horses. The lesser sample rate on the left and the greater sample rate on the right, the slices being the samples. Bit depth. This is also known as word length. Number of binary digits used to represent the blah, blah, blah of each sample, blah, 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 blah. Here's what this really means. The number of binary digits used to represent the loudness of every sample determines how accurate the level of volume stair-stepping will be from the very softest soft to the loudest loud. Let me describe this in another way. Bit depth in the color space looks like this. On the far left is a two-bit picture. 2-bit photography is, hey, uh, we've got two colors here, black or white, which one would you like? And in the recording space, that would be, okay, uh, go on in there and uh, we're going we're gonna to record your guitar solo and Bill here is going to turn the knob on and off and on and off as fast as he can. That would be a 2-bit recording. 4-bit color is the same thing. There's four color choices and everything gets pushed into those four spots. And then as it goes further to the right, there are more color choices, and then out here to 256, to where the colors are full and rich. So this is bit depth in the color space, but be careful because there's things in this analogy that will not work for audio. So just look at it, try to understand it, and throw it away. Here's how it relates to the audio waveforms themselves. Bit depth directly corresponds to the volume steps of each sample in a set of digital audio data. It's like what I described before. How tall are the steps between the softest soft and the loudest loud? This diagram represents that. The volume stepping of 8-bit is very chunky. That's why it sounds early hip-hop and grindy and has a certain appeal to it. The volume stepping of a 32-bit file is very smooth and very refined. Now when we put bit depth and sample rate together, we have what's unscientifically referred to by me as the recording matrix. My recording is going to be chunked into these coordinates, and if it falls outside of those coordinates, too bad. It's going to get pushed and chunked into it and forced into that grid. This being a much finer grid with higher resolution samples in yellow, higher resolution volume steps in green. And this is a very a much more refined chunking of the recording process. Dynamic range. This is very complicated and basically it refers to, you know, 16-bit is 96 dB, 24-bit is 144, 32-bit is 192. The one caveat here is that integrated circuits only allow us to hear above a certain range anyway, so we really can't hear a full 144 dB anyway. So these are theoretical discussions, but some that we need to cover. If you want to get deep, deep into it, I highly recommend Steve H's mastering tutorial, because he nails this whole thing. We ourselves have to keep moving, so let's get it on and start up with Pro Tools.